Hey, boy. Toby, sit down. Sit. Man, I didn't tell you to. <laughs> Why are you so scared, man? We're not gonna eat you. Today's video is sponsored by Shop Carl's. Shop Carl's is a big internet tackle website that's at your fingertips, and that's where I get majority at least, at least 90% of all the tackle that you see me use on the channel, I get from shop cars, whether it be soft lures, hard lures, jigs, terminal tackle, whatever the case may be, Shop Carl's has everything you need to make your fishing trip a pleasant one. And if you're a Shop Carl's member, you save up to 30% off your order with free shipping. Now, if you're the type of person that likes to accumulate a lot of tackle and just keep up with the tackle trends and just purchase so many different tackles, and becoming a Shop Carl's member is probably the best thing you've ever done in your fishing career. I myself is a Shop Carl's member and I certainly enjoy the 30% off and I highly recommend it. There's a direct link in the description box below. Click on that link, it'll take you directly to Shop Carl's and shop to your heart's content and purchase the same stuff you see me use on the channel. So right now, I'm getting ready. I'm heading out to the marsh. I'm gonna meet up another local Houston YouTuber, HTX Polestar. I encourage you guys to check out his channel. His link in the description box below. But the plan is to fish a local marsh and see if we can catch one or two redfish just to make it a quick, quick trip because I gotta run some errands. But yeah, I'll see you guys out in the water. Here we go, starting off early in the morning. Not too, too cold. Water temp's around 50 degrees. It's been much colder like in the 40s, the water temp, but it's actually warmed up a little bit. I think another cold front's gonna be coming through soon, but we're here to see if we can catch some reds. I've been hitting this spot, man, this reef. It's been money at this local marsh. Not too local, but local enough. It's been producing pretty good down there. It's not gonna last forever, that's for sure. I think around in about a week or two weeks or so, it will die off. They'll move off to a different spot but it's been pretty good here, man. I'm not keeping any fish too, because I, I'm, I want to release them and make sure they're growing and lay more eggs. And plus redfish is too much to clean, <laughs> especially the big ones, because I only catch big ones. Nah, no, just joking. I catch small ones, but yeah, anyways, we're going to be fishing about 12 to 13 to 15 feet deep, hitting some oyster reefs, bouncing a paddle tail off the bottom. And we might be switching up to a different paddle tail. I've been using the same one, the clear paddle tail from Shimmer Swimmer. But I, I might be able, I might, I might change it out to something else my buddy HTX Polestar hooked me up with. So let's see what happens, shall we? Yeah, they're moving towards this way more. Towards the deeper part. Could have been a small, just a very small school of trout. Come and going real fast, you know? That's my thinking. Yeah, I think they're small guys just based on how they're hitting my lure. Try more this way. Maybe they're going this way against the current. And no one over there is getting hit. So possibly they went this way. Well, I found, found the baits right here. Yeah. Lots of bait. There we go. That's a fish. It's gotta be a puller. That's a fish. He feels like a decent sized red, I think. That's where the bait's at. That's where I got him. Yeah, he's gonna be a decent size puller. There we go. Oh, come on, buddy. Yeah, there we go. You hear that? You hear that click sound? <laughs> the drag. Bait's right there, bro. HEX Pulsar, bait's right there, dude. That's where I caught him. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be a good fish, dude. Good red fish. Good Rojo Pescar. Is that how you say it, bro? An Oriental? Pescado, Rojo. He ain't done. I just gave him some magic powers or something. Beautiful redfish. Another keeper red. Beautiful red. Nice keeper red for today. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what happens when you chase birds. <laughs> Look at that. Dang, beautiful red. Look at that red. Woo! He's good keeper eater red if I wanted to keep something. 23 and a half. 23 easily all day god what a beautiful fish man if you look for the bait the structure current your life would be much more easier boom baby boom there he goes <laughs> yeah first fish of the day well not really first fish second fish of the day call it a nice speckled trout see if we can catch one more call it a day
if you see those birds start crashing, immediately go run over there and start casting over there, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna fish uh, that, that drain right there a little bit. So you don't like the Veravots now, huh? No, I like it. I'm, that's what, I like it. I just have to be careful. You got to be careful, man. That's a price. That's a price. You want to... The problem is I start, I start slinging the hell out of it like too hard. You, you don't really need to do that. Well, you can, but you got to make sure your line is not frayed. Yeah. I sling mine really hard, too. I started, I started buying that uh, number two. Oh, number two is good. They're so thin. Yeah, that's when I have issues. It's just too thin for me. Other than that, I, I like it. I don't have no complaints. A lot of people complain, but I'm in my head, I'm like, you got to check your line, dude. And you got to retie all the time. That's that's a drawback with these Veribus lines, the Japanese expensive. They're so thin. I don't care how tough you are. If you're thin, you're going to break easily if you get some uh, injuries. Yeah, there's some big fish out here, man. Nice big fish out here. There we go. There's a fish. Oh, yeah, he's a big one. I can just tell, man. Just pulling that drag. <laughs> oh, wow. Here he goes. Pulling that drag. Hey, he got slammed it. About seven foot down, man. He slammed it. Oh, there it goes. This is gonna be a. This is gonna be a nice fish. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. All right, this is gonna be a long fight, ladies and gentlemen. So might as well go microwave your popcorn. Oh, dude. Nice freaking fish. Oh golly, yeah. He's gonna be an upper slot red easily. Just the way he ate that freaking lure, you can just tell. He's a fighter and he's just pulling me around. This is gonna be the biggest one today, that's for sure. Oh my god, dude. It is giving the Antares a workout. All right, we are starting to see our leader. Yeah, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. It's gonna be a good fish. Whoo, whoo. They got some giants in this dang freaking channel. Some nice giants. All right, let's take him to the side there and we'll deal with him. Yeah, beautiful fish, multi-spotter. What I'm doing right now is I'm going against the, the current and then I am pulling him at the same time. So I have my clutch engage or disengage rather. Is it engage or disengage? Anyways, the line is going out and I'm just thumbing it using my thumb as the drag so my line doesn't snap or he bends out that hook. It's a big fish. Let's work this guy win. He's going to take a little bit of time. Something this big, you just can't just horse in. Especially with the light action tackle. Big fish. Oh my gosh, it's a big fish. Whoo, baby. Where have you been all morning? Look at that suppressor rod just taking a freaking beating. What and what was that? Oh, my other. Oh wow, that's a big fish just coming from the depths. Multi spotter. Whoo, look at that, dude right on the side of the mouth that's what i'm talking about oh my god big dude oh that right there thanks dude that's a big fish lots of spots on them too that is a freaking monster man let me show you like multi spots look at all these spots on one side you know all those spots on the other like this if he can turn there you go Whew, look at that Dang, what a big, big fish. God, that is so satisfying. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what this, this girl measures. She is a freaking tank. My God, it's a tank. 26 inches on the dot. Look at that. 26 inch redfish. Whew. Let's see how big this guy is. Nine and a half pounds, 26 incher. <laughs> That's a big girl. 
All right, let's take some pictures and we're gonna let her go. All right, we are back from the fishing trip. What a great day to be on the water. I was able to hook up with three keeper, uh, three keeper fish, one trout. Unfortunately, I didn't record it. I'm just a new when it comes to GoPros, but the two redfish were a, a bonus, let's just say. But anyways, got back home and guess what we got, guys? We got some new Shop Carl's Terminal Tackle and some lures, I think it is. I'm gonna open it up and show you guys what I use because actually a lot of you guys have asked me what jigs do I use, what brand name. So yeah, let me just show you right here. All right, here we go. First box. All right. Oh, well, you know what? This is what I ordered. I totally forgot I ordered. We got some spoons here from Salt Native. Look at these spoons. I ordered a bunch. These spoons right here because Jetty season is right around a corner and Spanish mackerel love to hit silver spoons. This is the one ounce. I believe it comes in a quarter, three quarter and one ounce. I opted for the one ounce because I like it to sink down faster, especially because the jetty is a little bit deeper, about 20, 30 feet. All right, here is the second box. Hopefully, Hopefully this will show you the jigs that I like to use because I think I know I ordered some. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Don't need a receipt here. These are money, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I like to use. This brand name, 360 GT Coastal. This one opened up, unfortunately, but uh, I use a wide variety of different weights and sizes of hooks. For example, 1 8 ounce and 3 aught is a good, good, uh, size to use for a smaller swim bait, maybe three to three and a half inch um, Like the shimmer swimmer for example, and if you don't need to fish deep the 1 8 ounce is perfect If not, I recommend the quarter ounce the quarter ounce does come in a 3 aught and a 4 aught and right here This is the 1 8 3 aught. Oh, you know what? Yeah, this is the 1 8 3 aught right here This is actually the 1 8 2 aught which is smaller. Uh, I haven't actually ever used this but I'm thinking I'm gonna go smaller swim bait the 2 watts is going to fit better, but the 3 watt fit, fits the Shimmer Swimmer perfectly. Uh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Shimmer Swimmer, you guys know I love the Shimmer Swimmer. And, uh, you know, honestly, there a lot of times Shop Carl's is sold out because a lot of you guys are out there buying this. You guys know that we do catch a lot of fish, and when they do come in stock, I hurry up and purchase them. These two packs right here, the Violet, so I'm really super excited. This is going to be good for the darker water, especially in the coming months when it gets warmer. The violet is a good, good colorway to go with for those dirty waters in our area. And last but not least, TT Lures. They do have some TT Lures. They're starting to trickle in into shopcarls.com. You guys know I like the TT Lures. And this is the first one i actually seen. This is the 1-6 uh, size one aught hook. It's more like a swim hook. It's going to be interesting. I've never used this before, but I'm thinking this is going to be really good to use with the Shimmer Swimmer to make it um, to make it more uh, weedless per se. When I do go like the Port O'Connor uh, or I'm fishing grass flats and I need something that's going to be weedless so I can target those tailing redfish and you know that ultra clear water and I can see them and just kind of sight cast them. But really super excited. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A little taste. Of some unboxing from shopcarls.com. I want to thank shopcarls for sponsoring this video. Um, thank you so much for believing in my channel and just, you know, just going with it, man. I really do appreciate it. And I love getting the tackle from shopcarls. And I encourage you guys to do it too because, as I stated before, I am not going to sponsor or I'm not going to push anything on my channel. If it doesn't work for me, then honestly, it's a waste of time and I'm not going to push it on you guys. But, anyways, Check out that link in the description box below. I highly recommend shopcrowds.com and become a member. But thank you so much, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like button. Also, leave me a comment, all right? YouTube analytics is about comments right now, so I need you guys to leave a comment. Just say something dumb. I don't know. Whatever you want to say, just say it. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Let you guys know when I do drop a video. And thank you so much. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. If it wasn't for you guys out there that watch my videos, Sometimes it can be pretty cringy, I know, but thank you so much. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here today doing what I love to do and just keeping you guys entertained. So thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.